The first thing you see when you open QGIS is a list of recent projects. Those that are available will be in black and those that are unavailable, if they've been saved on a, an external drive, for instance, that isn't available to the computer, those will be greyed out. But we can ignore all of these because we're going to start a new project and we do that by going to the, the projects menu and clicking on new. We can also go directly to the project toolbar and click on the, the white sheet of paper, which is the button for a new project. And straight away in front of you, what you should have is a white space. That's your canvas, that's where your map will appear. And you have a menu and a series of toolbars. These can be moved around. Uh, each toolbar has an anchor point, which is a, a row of gray dots. And if you hover over that anchor point, the name of the toolbar will come up. That'll be useful for finding the different buttons later on. Uh, you also have some panels. Uh, you have a browser where you can find the different files that you need to add to your map. And here you have a layers panel. In QGIS and other mapping programs, we work with layers that can contain different features like points, areas, and base maps. And those layers will appear as a list as you add them to QGIS. And that's what we do to get started. We're gonna add a base map, and we're gonna add a base map that you should be familiar with, which is Google Street Maps. And we do that by adding an XYZ tile. So if you go to your browser, underneath the folders, there should be a series of options. One of those is XYZ tiles. If you expand those options, you should have a list there. If you're the first to use the program, it may just be one thing long. It should be OpenStreetMap as your only option. If it's not there, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how to add those very shortly. But what we can do from there is the simplest way of adding a layer is just to drag it across. And this is Google Street Maps as you know it. Yeah, it behaves in very much the same way. You can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. You can drag it around with the pan tool, which is a hand, or you can change to the, the magnifying glasses and select a specific area with that as a square. Click to zoom in once and very quickly you can navigate to campus.